Welcome to 734 Games, and this is game time. And today we're talking about a game that I did a video years ago when I was doing another show called Indieverse on one of my old channels on YouTube. Now, this is going to be a new video about Clark, a game by Golden Tricycle and Hand Films. It's mainly by Golden Tricycle. They're a company out of Germany. But before I get to the fun stuff, my nephew, he's getting cancer treatments. His GoFundMe is going to be in the description. So let's get started with Clark. So why am I coming back to Clark after so many years? Well, this game, someone came up to me on, or kind of got reached out to me on Steam, and they asked me to do a video of this, or asked me to re-upload my old video of this game. Now, I don't have that video anymore, so I decided to upload this video. Now, basically what you have here is Bit Clark lives in a world of robots. Everybody is a robot. And they all live in this facility, at least so far, they live in this facility, and Clark is just one, a worker robot. And he falls in love with a rocket ship. So this is, this is computer love. Let's just say we got a little bit of computer, computer love going on here on this episode of Game Time. And he decides to free this, um, this rocket ship and send it off in, you know, wherever it's got to go. Of course, the rocket ship was a nuclear rocket ship. If you, could, you look at the insignia on it. But Clark was in love, and he, you know, he's a little worker, and he did what he, he did what he was asked to do. Now you do other little tasks in the game. Basically, what Clark is is a puzzle, a isometric puzzle game. And as you go along, the puzzles get more and more intricate, and they change things up. It's actually a pretty good game. It's on iOS and Android now. It's on P. It's been on PC. It was on PC first, and then it came out on those other platforms. So you can get it on Steam or um, GOG. I haven't seen it on Epic Game Store. I don't know if it's going to be on Epic Game Store, but I'm sure you know the game's been out for so long. And it's already on iOS. I don't even know why they put it on the Epic Game Store. They don't really need to. And they mainly Golden Tricycle. They're the ones that are still putting this out. I don't know if Hand Film still exists anymore. But if you look on the GOG version, their name is in the credits. So you know I I, I have mentioned them. But they, they they say I mean the game is obviously they say action. I didn't really see where there's any action in the game. You're not really. I didn't see any combat. It's mainly a puzzle game where you you roll, you move boxes, and you figure out certain puzzles, or you figure out certain rooms and get into it get to get to the next room. Now I've played this game a little bit, and it does have some depth. And according to the developer, the game has a hundred spatial puzzles with ten hours of story-driven gameplay. So that's kind of cool. And it's funny because in the world, I guess a lot of robots they run around and dance to techno music. It's like they're the music for robots. So basically the game, the music in the game is electronica. And I mean, the game, the game is, is, is pretty well put together. And I enjoyed the puzzles, you know, I think it's a fun game. Like I said, you can get it on anything. You can get it on your phone or whatever. You can get it on your on your computer. It's like, this game does not take a lot to run. I mean, you're not gonna need a power, any kind of power to run this game, obviously because it's running on mobile, but it was built for PC first, but it's an indie game. I mean, this game, this, this developer out of Berlin, Golden Tricycle, they're a very small developer, and they made a, a very small game that's actually pretty decent, and it's worth the price right now. On GOG, it's $7.99, so I mean, I'm sure it's probably about the same on Steam as well. So it's a pretty cheap game. Now, I have, I have not looked on iOS or Android to see how much this game costs, but I'm sure it's not very expensive. And I'm going to leave a link to the version that you're seeing here, which is the GOG version. But, I mean, I, you know, this is a fun game, a relatively fun game. I think you're going to enjoy it if you try it out. If you like puzzles, then this is definitely your game. You're, you know, it's not a, not a big action, you know, you're not going to have any combat here. But it is, they are fun puzzles, and you're, you're going to, and interesting little characters you meet along the way. So, what's here is interesting and enjoyable. And I think this is a nice little game for eight bucks. So check it out, Clark, and you probably won't be disappointed. Give it a chance. 
And that's pretty much it for this episode of Game Time. This is your host, Tom, signing off from 734 Games, where gaming is alive.